Hey y'all, welcome to another episode here on my channel. Hope you're having a blessed day. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about starting a garden and what not to do. So this will actually be my second garden to start on two separate properties. I did one with raised bed style in a small town home and now I'm here on our rural property where we have it expanded and, and built out a larger garden. Every time I start a garden, I realize mistakes I made. I think I've learned a ton of them on this one. And number one is make sure you vet the supplier that you're getting your compost from. The reason you should vet your supplier is you never know what is that compost being made of, what is it sourced with, what kind of weed seeds are in it, is it hot, is it not? You just don't know what um, that compost is gonna be like. and um, as you can see here in our garden, we uh, I've spent a lot of time building out beds. Um, I think the first mistake I made was utilizing the, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cardboard deep composting method to build out beds. As you can see, basically that method is laying down a layer of cardboard and from there putting about six to eight to 10 inches of compost on top of that. When you have invasive grasses and weeds like we do and a lot of people have um, you know crabgrass and bermuda is gonna kind of laugh at your cardboard and i think i'm learning that even um, here as i've built out all these beds with the deep mulch system this little guy here if it's focusing on it at all that is a little devil this is called nut sedge and it actually came in our compost. Um, I, w I did not know that the compost supplier that I got this from actually had this little um, seed in it. Um, it essentially looks like a little nut and it spreads like nothing else. And I've got thousands of these in the compost, which is pretty irritating when you purchase compost and you spend $700 on 13 yards of it and it has an invasive grass seed in it, incredibly invasive. So mistake number one was that for me. Now I felt like I vetted the company that sold me this compost pretty well. However, I didn't vet them enough um, because I've got this crap in it, which is next to impossible to get rid of. Mistake number two, patience. Um, I struggle with patience. I think the only way to truly start a garden bed incredibly well without dealing with all the invasive grasses and weeds is to either tarp your garden plot so for us here it would be to tarp this entire section for i'd say a year um, and let it kill off the grass kill off the weed seeds um, man i really think that that is probably the number one best method if you're willing to wait that long the other option would be to fence off your garden section and put chickens in there for three four five six months maybe it's over a, a winter time period and they're going to till up and dig up all the roots the grasses and you won't have a lick of, of weeds or bermuda grass or anything like that however they don't really eat these big large nut sedge seeds so i'm gonna have an issue there but i have a buddy that has said that ducks will actually eat the nut sedge so I don't know, however, what I'm ultimately telling you is the best way to start a garden is tarp it, be patient, or fence it off. And you can get temporary electric fence and put chickens in there to do what chickens do best, which is absolutely eat up everything in that section. In regards to sourcing compost, as I said, I'm pretty frustrated with this. From people I've talked to, even across the country, it is incredibly difficult to find top quality compost. Um, and it really poses a, a, a true difficulty when people are trying to start um, quality gardens that have quality soil and don't have you know, all kinds of invasive seeds and things in it. So my one answer to the question of where you get great compost is you don't, is you make it yourself. That's the only way, in my opinion, that you can truly know the quality of the compost, what's in the compost, is to do it yourself, which does take a little bit of time and some material. However, 
I do believe that that is the best method the best method and is going to be my approach moving forward. Those are the two big mistakes that I made in starting this one. I think after this grow season, I'm actually going to um, do the chicken method and I'm actually going to fence it off with electric poultry uh, fencing, bit a little coop, and I'm going to leave those chickens in there all winter to just absolutely go crazy which they're going to eat up everything. They're going to poop. They're going to scratch. They're going to move that compost around that is in there. I'm not saying the compost I got is bad. However, it has an invasive seed in it. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't take this stuff for free if they offered it to me. Um, so it'll kind of be a restart next winter, but I'm going to deal with it for now. Um, but that would be the first thing that I say in starting a garden would be tarp it, find a way to get rid of those weeds and the invasive grasses, and then go from there. Hope y'all found this video helpful in regards to... Sage? Hey. Sage, are you done? Hey, Sage. <laughs> Trying to make a video here. Hope y'all found the video helpful. We'll see you on the next one.